welcome back to the channel of Compass Effect. And before starting this video, I would like to suggest you to go and check our previous video because I have explained in detail mein explain kiya hai about the nature of the ligand. And if you watch that, you will be able video do the solved examples in the video, examples karne wale hai, wo sab understand karna kafi easy ho jayega. Now, let's get started. So today we are going to solve some examples on the 18 electron rule. The first example that I have chosen for you is this and the topic is bridged ligand symmetrical. So before we solve this, there are certain points we have to keep it in our mind. Keep it in our mind. See students, we have to understand about the metal-metal bond. So see, you have two metals. And when a bond is formed between them, obviously, it includes two electrons. If you denote the metal as metal 1 and metal 2, then you can say that metal 1 is getting one electron from metal 2 and metal 2 is getting one electron from metal 1. And you can also say that each metal, each metal is getting one electron from the other. And also, one metal-metal bond is consisting of two electrons. Right? So, when we are going to solve this kind of complexes, I would like to suggest you to go for the overall electron count and then check the electron count of the individual metals. In this case, there are two metals. Now we know that one metal, it satisfies the 18 electron rule to be stable. So obviously two metal, agar do metal hoga, to kitna hoga? It will satisfy 18 into 2, which is 36. So when you are having uh, 36 electrons, since in this complex you are having 2 cobalt, so therefore this whole complex is going to over 30. So overall electron count, if 36 hote hai, to then aapka ye complex stable ho jayega. Now let's see total how many cobalt you are having. 2. So each cobalt is having 9 valence electrons. So therefore it is 2 into 9, which is equal to 18 right now see student overall you are having eight carbonyls so this is a very convenient method in this case agar aap overall jab, uh, calculate kar rahe ho waha pe bridged and terminal ligand differentiate karne ki zarurat nahi hai because each carbonyl always each carbonyl always contributes two electron to the overall complex so overall there are eight carbonyls and then you are having how many number of carbons are 8? So 8 and each CO is 2 electron donor. So this is equal to 16. And you are having one metal metal bond as already informed that one metal metal bond consists of 2 electrons. And so you are having one metal metal bond. So you are having 2 electrons. So add all of them. So this is equal to 36. So obviously this is stable. तो इसके साथ हम थोड़ा सा ये भी करके solve करके देख लेते हैं that ये जो एक cobalt है एक metal का क्या 18 electron will satisfied हो रहा है तो इसका जो overall इसका जो overall valence electron से भी already discussed is nine, right? So ये हो गया आपका nine, ठीक है? Now let me explain you about the bridge ligand, bridge carbonyls and the terminal carbonyls and the bridge carbonyl. See, now this one carbonyl is definitely donating two electron to the overall complex. In the case of the terminal, obviously it is donating two electrons to the overall complexes, right? But when it is bridged, it is actually donating one electron to each metal, one to this and one to this, 
right and this metal metal bond is actually formed with two electrons and this cobalt is actually getting one electron from the other one again this carbon is donating one now let us calculate this is nine nine plus six because you're having three so three into two is equal to six so nine plus six is equal to 15 16 17 18 yes each individual metal are also obeying 18 electron rule so this is completely clear to all of us how to calculate it both the ways and if you do both the ways obviously double checking ho jate hai to aapka negative marking hone ki chances bilkul bhi nahi rehte hai now let us move on to the next example using the 18 electron find the value of n in the following compounds so this is very simple students so you have the tungsten which is having valence electrons 6 then you have the eta 6 mode you have eta 6 mode is 6 electron donor and then each co is donating each carbon is donating 2 electron and how many number are there n number and the overall complex, if we consider the overall complex to be a stable one, obviously this must be 18. So let's solve this. Therefore, 2n is equal to 18 minus 12, which is equal to 6. Therefore, n is equal to 3. This is the answer. Now let us move to the next example. Solve this. Okay, so you have chromium. Again, the number of valence electron is six, right? It is in the eta three mode. So eta three mode, matlab three electron donor. And carbonyl, each carbonyl donating two electrons. This is two into n. Now, CH three is one electron donor. I have beautifully explained this in my previous video. Please do check it out. So you will be understanding, and this is very important to understand the nature of the ligand. I have seen a lot of students who try to mug up, who try to memorize the nature of the ligand. बिल्कुल भी जरूरत नहीं है. अगर आप समझ जाते हो उसका science, आप solve करोगे. ठीक है? So this is one electron donor. I have beautifully explained in my previous video. Please do check it out. So overall, ये भी कितना हो जाएगा? Eighteen. So you are having, let's solve this, 10 plus 2n is equal to 18, therefore 2n is equal to 8, therefore n is equal to 4. So n is equal to 4 is the answer. Okay, now the next one. Consider the 18 electron rule as a guide and determine the value of n in the following complexes. Now, this is a very interesting example. Uh, now, here you are seeing that in the third bracket ke andar something is given and third bracket. Ke bahar. So, what is the significance of the third bracket? In the third bracket, ke andar koi bhi complex rehte, it means the nature of bond is all, within the third bracket. All the bonds that are formed, they are always coordinate covalent bond. And the third bracket, ke jo bahar hote, that is always ionic bond ठीक है so this is the significance of this तो अगर बाहर ionic bond है तो first of all हम इसे ऐसे solve करेंगे पहले देख लेते हैं ये कैसे ionize हो जाते हैं ठीक है so ये ऐसे ionize हो जाएंगे ठीक है so you having two sodium each sodium is having plus one so two है तो plus two हो जाएंगे अगर आप balance करोगे तो ये क्या हो जाएंगे अब क्या करेंगे हम इसका इलेक्ट्रॉन काउंट करेंगे ठीक है अभी हम जो करने वाले हैं वो है इसका इलेक्ट्रॉन काउंट और ये अगर 18 हो जाएंगे तो ये डेफिनेटली स्टेबल हो जाएगा एंड वी नो द वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स ऑफ आयरन इज 8 एंड दिस इज 2n since you are having two negative charge, we have to add. And if it is stable, hai, to consider the 18 electron rule as the guide. So this is stable. Hai, to ye kitna ho jayenge? Ye ho jayega 8. Right? So now we solve it. So very easy. So how do we solve it? Therefore, 2n is equal to 
18 minus 10 and therefore n to n is equal to 8 and therefore n is equal to 4 because it's the answer. Now let us move on to the next problem. Very easy. This is manganese is having valence electron 7 and this is one electron donor again earlier video I have explained and this is equal to 2n and this will be equal to 18. If you solve you will find 2n is equal to 18 minus 8 which is equal to 10 therefore n is equal to 5. Now the next one. Chromium is having valence electron 6. Each are 3 mode. Obviously you have to add 3. For this you have to do 2n and CH3 1 electron donor. This is equal to 18. Right. And therefore you find 2n is equal to 18 minus 10. Therefore, n 2n is equal to 8, and therefore n is equal to 4. So this is the correct answer. The last one. Tungsten is having valence electron 6. And this is having the eta 6 forms with the 6 electron donor. Then you have 2n. And again, this is equal to 18. Therefore, 2n is equal to 18 minus 12, which is equal to 6. Therefore, n is equal to 3. This is the Clear? Now, let us move on to the next question. Predict M if it is a first row transition element. So this is very important. They have informed you that it is a first row transition element. Matlab 3D series, right? First row transition element. Transition element will be having D orbital first row. Matlab. So this is a 3D series. Yeah, information and this is a stable compound. If this is a stable compound, definitely this is going to obey 18 electron rule. And you're having only one metal. So therefore, this is going to obey 18 electron rule itself. So here we are doing balance electrons. Here we are unknown to unknown. I to calculate this. And this is in the eta 3 mode. So this is 3 electron donor. And then you have the carbonyl. How many are there? 5. So you have 5 into 2 and the overall is 18. Therefore, M is equal to 18 minus 13, which is equal to 5. So, what first row transition element kya hoga? So, I said that first row transition means 3D series. Because transition means which is having partial field D orbital. And first row means first row ka principal quantum is 3. So, what will be electronic configuration kya ho 3D5. And what is it? It is vanadium. This is the answer. Very good question. Let us move on to the next question. Determine the unknown quantity. And they have given you that it is uh, having one metal metal bond. Determine the unknown quantity and the information they have given you is they are having one metal metal bond. Now let's solve this. Now CPA in general if they move, uh, give like this you have to consider it as in the eta 5 mode. If it's in the eta 5 mode obviously it is 5 electron donor. Tungsten is having valence electron how much? is having 6 and for 2n what you need to do is for 2n you are having what for, two, for n number of carbonyls you have to add 2n and they have given you one information one metal metal bond so what we need to do is ye jo hai ye to 2n ho gai, ye overall dekho यहाँ पे two दिया है two complexes तो यहाँ पे हम two multiply करते हैं और as because it is having one metal metal bond and one metal metal bond I already discussed with you is is made up of two electrons so this is equal to so how many tungsten are there two 
बिकॉज यू हैविंग टू ओवर यूर सो यहाँ पे एटीन इंटू टू हो जाएगा क्लियर सो इफ यू टेक दिस टू कॉमन वट यू हैव यू हैव फाइव प्लस सिक्स इज इक्वल टू अलेवन यू हैव दिस प्लस टू एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू एटीन therefore you have n is equal to 3 and so now see student one thing you have to keep it in your mind uh, when you solve this kind of a uh, question you have to just always take care of the metal metal bond you were adding everything and if you just miss it everything is going to be wrong so you have to take care of this metal metal bond now let us move on to the next question um this is having two metal metal bonds right so again like same so जो इसके अंदर है उसके साथ हमें टू मल्टीप्लाई कर रही हो फिर सी है तो फाइव होगा मैंगनीस है तो बैलेंस ऑफ द मैंगनीस इज सेवन प्लस टू एन राइट प्लस इट इज हैविंग टू मेटल मेटल बॉन्ड यू हैव टू कीप इट इन योर माइंड सो इट इज हैविंग डोंट फिगेट दिस एंड डोंट मिस इट टू मेटल मेटल बॉन्ड एंड ईच मेटल मेटल बॉन्ड इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड ओवरऑल इट इज गोइंग टू बी एटीन इन टू Now let's solve this. Take two common and cancel it. You have five plus seven plus two n plus two is equal to eighteen. Therefore, you have fourteen plus two n is equal to eighteen. Therefore, two n is equal to Four and therefore n is equal to two and this is the answer, right? Now let us move on to the next problem and that is this. So this type of problem जो है यहाँ पे हम को हमें find करना है we have to find out the value of z. Before I find it out, one thing you have to be very alert about the fact that while calculating z तो हम क्या कर रहे थे दिस इज Z. तो Z जो था अगर वो नेगेटिव था तो हम टोटल इलेक्ट्रॉन काउंट के साथ वो ऐड कर रहे थे राइट right? मतलब अगर आप कोई भी Z का वैल्यू अगर T की टोटल इलेक्ट्रॉन काउंट के साथ ऐड करोगे और उसका वैल्यू अगर पॉजिटिव में आते हैं तो इसका चार्ज कितना हो जाएंगे नेगेटिव Clear to all of you? Okay. Now let me explain to you once again, uh, slowly. Then you will come to know about it. You are having three CO. Obviously, one CO is two electron donor. Then you are having nickel. So we are doing the neutral method. So nickel ten ho ga isliye. And you are having one metal metal bond. So one metal metal bond is consisting of two electrons. This is due to the metal metal bond. ठीक है एंड फॉर कोबल्ट यू हैव टू टेक नाइन एंड अगेन यू हैव थ्री इन टू टू सो सिंस सी स्टूडेंट्स हम एड कर रहे हैं जेड इट मीन्स जेड का वैल्यू क्या होगा जो जेड का वैल्यू आएंगे अगर वो पॉजिटिव में आएंगे उसका साइन चेंज हो जाएंगे क्योंकि हम यहाँ पे एड कर एड किसका करते हैं जब कंप्लेक्स के ऊपर नेगेटिव चार्ज होता है ठीक है एंड दिस हैज टू बी इक्वल टू सिंस यू हैविंग टू मेटल्स So this has to be equal to two into eighteen. Okay. So overall, आपका ये कितना हो जाएगा? So therefore, Z is equal to this is two into eighteen is thirty six minus if you add if you calculate this, it will turn out to be thirty three. And now see students, the value of Z is three. Because since we are adding electron, therefore this charge is going to be three minus. Clear, students? 
दिस इज द आंसर ये थ्री माइनस होगा क्योंकि हम यहाँ पे यहाँ पे प्लस जेड कर रहे हैं तो प्लस जेड कब करते हैं जब इसका चार्ज थ्री माइनस होता है देखो द चार्ज इज थ्री माइनस ओके बिट इन यू माइंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम ना लेट इज मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन For the given compounds, calculate the total number of metal metal bonds. So we have to learn about the total num. How to calculate the total number of metal metal bond? Very important topic. And here, pe or a new concept hai. That is a new ligand. That is uh, given is NO is linear. So NO is linear. So what do you mean by the linear nitrosyl and the ben nitrosyl? If it is a linear nitrosyl, so how much electron donor? is it going to be so first of all under let us understand this so now we are going to discuss about the metal nitrosyls so every single thing students agar aap bahut acche se ye electronic configuration jo hai bahut acche se aap samajh jate ho to fir bahut sare cheez aap independently solve kar paoge you don't have to depend on uh, someone else to solve each and every questions i don't appreciate that i want my students to be independent and whatever the questions to get wo agar independent ho jate so maximum questions wo khud hi solve kar lete hain so metal nitrosyl is no this is a neutral no theek hai तो अगर हम नाइट्रोजन का इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन देखते हैं वो है एन एस टू एन पी थ्री वो है एन एस टू एन पी थ्री नाउ वेन इट रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ नाइट्रोसो वॉट विल हैपन स्टूडेंट्स सो ऑब्वियसली वी नो दैट ऑक्सीजन रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टू बॉन्स वन सिग्मा एंड वन पाई oxygen will definitely result in the formation of two bond and that is one sigma and one pi so now you see that this nitrosyl is having one unpaired electron so it can actually act in two different ways it can either give out इट्स वन इलेक्ट्रॉन और इट कैन एक्सेप्ट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन अगर ये वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एक्सेप्ट कर लेंगे तो ये क्या हो जाएगा कम्प्लीटली फील्ड और वाइटल हो जाएगा स्टेबल और इट कैन ऑल्सो गिव आउट तो इसके पास एक वैक एंड और वाइटल दैट इज ऑल्सो स्टेबल तो वेन इट विल गिव आउट इट माइट एक्ट एज अ इट कैन एक्ट एज अ सिग्मा डोनर एंड बाई एक्सेप्ट लिक एंड सो इट कैन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट कैन हैपन इट कैन accept one electron from the metal and then it will result in the formation of no minus and when it is actually defined as bent nitrosyl or since it can give out one electron to a metal and it will result in the formation of no plus and henceforth it is named as linear तो लीनियर नाइट्रोसिल क्या है हमें समझ में आ गया सिंस यहाँ पे लीनियर नाइट्रोसिल ही है तो हम पहले तो यही डिस्कस करेंगे कि हाउ इज लीनियर नाइट्रोसिल थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर एंड आफ्टर इन माय अपकमिंग वीडियोस आई विल आल्सो एक्सप्लेन दिस इन डिटेल वंस अगेन सो नाउ लेट अस ओनली डिस्कस अबाउट द लीनियर नाइट्रोसिल सो ना लीनियर नाइट्रोसिल एनओ जो बन गया तो ये हमारा कंसर्न की कि एनओ कितना इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर होगा ना से स्टूडेंट्स लीनियर नाइट्रोसोल के बारे में हम बात कर रहे हैं सो ना यू आर हैविंग द लीनियर नाइट्रोसोल ठीक है लीनियर नाइट्रोसोल एंड इट इज डिनोटेड बाय एन ओ प्लस तो एन ओ प्लस कैसे बने एक इलेक्ट्रॉन उसने क्या किया एन ओ विल गिव आउट वन इलेक्ट्रॉन एंड रिजल्टिंग इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एन ओ प्लस सो एन किसे इलेक्ट्रॉन दिया मेटल को ठीक है इलेक्ट्रॉन दिया मेटल को so metal जो है it accepts one electron and results in the formation of m minus so देखो यहाँ पे इसने already one electron donate किया है it has already given one electron to the metal don't forget it and afterwards so once it uh, is done what happens it is having one lone pair of electrons and for the formation of bond it results in the coordinate bond तो यहाँ पे इसने कितना टोटल डोनेट किया टू सो ओवरऑल कितना डोनेट किया टू प्लस वन ओवरऑल इट इज अ थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर सो एक्चुअली अगर आप एनओ प्लस का इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फ़िगरेशन देखते हो तो पहले एनओ प्लस कैसे बने इसने क्या किया 
इसने एक इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनेट कर दिया डोनेट करने के बाद इसका क्या इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन हो जाएगा ऐसे हो जाएंगे है ना सो आफ्टर दिस इज इज हैविंग दिस लोन पेयर दिस लोन पेयर इज डोनेटेड टू एम माइनस क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू तो पहले इसने एक मेटल को डोनेट किए थे उसके बाद दिस है ना उसके बाद उसने लोन पेयर डोनेट करे कोडन तो टोटल इट इज अ थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर दैट इज वाई यू कैन से दैट दिस लीनियर दिस इज थ्री इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क स्टूडेंट कि एवरी टाइम वेन एवर यू आर हैविंग एनी डाउट और अगर आप ऐसे ही इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन के थ्रू समझ जाते हो सॉल्व करना तो इन तो आप बहुत अच्छे से सेल्फ सफिशियंट बन जाते हो बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन को खुद सॉल्व करने के लिए हर एक क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करने के लिए यू डोंट हैव टू डिपेंड ऑन दिस बी सेल्फ सफिशियंट नाउ यू हैव दिस तो नाउ सिंस वी आर एक्चुअली फॉलोइंग द मेथड न्यूट्रल मेथड एक आयनिक मेथड भी होता है वो भी हम अपकमिंग वीडियोज में डिस्कस करेंगे बट आई बिलीविंग इन आई बिलीव इन डिस्कसिंग वन एट अ टाइम दोनों एक साथ करने से क्या होता है स्टूडेंट कन्फ्यूज हो जाते हैं सिंस वी आर एक्चुअली डिस्कसिंग द न्यूट्रल मेथड ओवर यर यू हैव टू कंसिडर दिस इज हाइड्रोजन विच इज हैविंग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिग्रेशन वन एस वन तो जिसके पास एक ही इलेक्ट्रॉन है वो एक से ज़्यादा इलेक्ट्रॉन तो कभी वो नहीं कर पाएगा ना डोनेट तो अगर इसके पास एक ही इलेक्ट्रॉन है तो इट इज ऑलवेज वन इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर सो इवन इट इज इन ब्रिज फॉर्म इज वॉट एवर मे बी द फॉर्म टर्मिनल फॉर्म हो या ब्रिज फॉर्म में हो यह वन इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर ही होगा सो so, ये जो है ये आपका हो जाएगा दो है सो so, आप क्या करोगे टू एंड सिंस हाइड्रोजन इज वन इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर टू इन टू वन प्लस यू हैव टू डू दिस सिंस यहाँ पे टू है तो यहाँ पे मैंने टू कर दिया है ठीक है तो हमें क्या करना है वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट द टोटल नंबर ऑफ मेटल मेटल बॉन्ड्स सो इफ दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स इज इफ दिस कॉम्प्लेक्स जो है दिस कंपाउंड अगर वो uh, यहाँ पे अगर दो मेटल है तो वो कितना रूल फॉलो करेंगे 18 इंटू टू क्योंकि ईच मेटल एक्चुअली वो बेज एटीन इलेक्ट्रॉन रूल टू बी स्टेबल तो यहाँ पे दो है इट विल बी एटीन इंटू टू तो यहाँ पे देखो टू इसलिए मैंने यहाँ पे टू दिया है फिर ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट किया This is in the eta five mode. This is five हो जाएगा. Nitrosyl. Just now we have discussed that in linear nitrosyl it is three electron donor. Tungsten is having the valence electron six, and you are having hydrogen. This I have discussed earlier is one electron donor. So overall, कितना होना चाहिए? Overall होना चाहिए eighteen into two. So पहले हम ये calculate कर लेते हैं. और यहाँ पे हम देखेंगे जो भी हम टोटल इलेक्ट्रॉन काउंट कर रहे हैं दिस इज विदाउट द मेटल मेटल बॉन्ड तो ये कितना हो गया टू प्लस टू इन टू फिफ्टीन दिस इज गोइंग टू बी टू प्लस थर्टी विच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी टू दिस इज थर्टी टू टी सी टोटल इलेक्ट्रॉन टी सी विदाउट मेटल मेटल बॉन्ड Without metal metal bond. Clear? Now, since you are having two metals, so definitely total electron count कितना होना चाहिए टू इंटू एटीन विच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स लेकिन आपने टोटल इलेक्ट्रॉन काउंट विदाउट तो टोटल इलेक्ट्रॉन काउंट विदाउट मेटल मेटल बॉन्ड कितना हुआ आपका थर्टी टू हुआ है ना सो कितना लेफ्ट हो गया This is four electron. Now, by unitary method, you can easily calculate. Since two electron results in the formation of one metal metal bond, therefore, four electron will result through unitary method will result in the formation four into half, which is equal to two metal bonds. This is the answer. Ready? very important you have to practice it and students one more thing i would like to say you that whenever you get any question which is a bit different and important you have to practice this more than once a lot of times to make it perfect known questions jo hum samjhate wo bhi aapko bahut bar practice karna hai this results in perfection practice makes a one perfect now let us move on to the next uh, question this 
as this and uh, also we can do one thing we can also draw the structure let's draw the draw the structure let's draw the structure so see students so here we have seen that tungsten jo hai, do metal metal bond jo hai, humne calculate kiya hai. Hum bitha dete hai. and they have given you what they have given you they have given you two bridged hydrogen wo bhi kar lete hai. and now each tungsten is having one hydrogen है ना तो जो जो कर रहे हैं उसे हम one hydrogen and each metal is also possessing one CP in the eta five mode let's do this and last but not this 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 linear nitrosol this is the structure very easy so whenever any structure you are going to draw you have to calculate one thing that is whether each metal is actually obeying 18 electron rule or not now let us calculate the 18 electron count of the individual one see tungsten is having the valence electron six okay the six hey the overall you have picked now that seven seven plus five 12 12 plus 3 15 15 16 it is getting 16 17 ठीक है now uh, यहाँ पे आप 17 हो गया आपका overall अभी तक 17 हो गया आपका और uh, अगर आप ऐसा कर रहे हो तो यहाँ पे ये एक electron donor है अब ऐसा basically what happens I will explain you that in classical mechanics it was one electrons were actually defined like this a electron or two electron or three electron but in uh, modern or quantum mechanics electrons are actually defined as electron cloud density so basically electron cloud density so these two uh, hydrogen breathed hydrogen are actually donating two electrons to the overall complex so on an average one hydrogen you are getting this is this two are actually donating two electrons to the overall complex and you can divide it by two and you can say that from this two bridge you are getting one electron so it is obeying 18 electron so as a one electron two electron hota nahi hai. Uh, basically ye electron cloud density hai, that is distributed over this and agar aap one elect aap aisa bol sakte ho, that this and this both of them are actually donating two electron cloud density to the overall complex and in average you can say one is actually getting one electron cloud density from two of them so overall kitna ho 18 and henceforth this structure is also accepted and everything is completely well defined now let us move on to the next question now mu co this is a very important and we have to draw the structure simultaneously as well so uh hai maine aap logo ka kaha jo carbonyl hai agar aap overall complex ka karte ho to each carbonyl is actually donating two electron to the overall complex and each carbonyl donates one electron in the bridged form to each metal so aap yaha pe direct kya karo yaha pe aap direct Carbonyl जो है इसे हम कर दो two to the overall complex हम कर रहे हैं now you are also having the CH two and this is actually in the mu form this has to be the mu CH two form ठीक है तो अगर ये CH two in the mu form है तो हमें calculate करना है ये कितना electron donate कर रहे हैं and uh, then we have to do this तो पहले हम देख लेते हैं CH two कितने electron donate कर सकते हैं what about the CH two ठीक है CH two in the mu form तो so obviously फटाफट everything has to be in the explained through electronic configuration तो so, CH2 है इसके पास कार्बन का इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कॉन्फिगरेशन क्या है 2s2 2p2 तो उसका मैं क्या कर रही हूं वन पेयर को अनपेयर कर रही हूं ठीक है और यहां पे आप देख रहे हो CH2 इज रिजल्टिंग इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ टू सिग्मा बॉन्ड्स विद द हाइड्रोजन ठीक है तो रूल नंबर 1 मैंने क्या कहा था नंबर ऑफ अनपेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन सिंस CH2 इज हैविंग हाउ मेनी नंबर ऑफ अनपेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इट इज हैविंग टू नंबर ऑफ अनपेयर इलेक्ट्रॉन्स so this is a two electron donor so ch2 is two electron donor and this is in the mu form i'm sorry ye thoda sa uh, miss ho gaya so ye ho jayenge two electron donor theek hai and then you have in the 
eta 5 cp obviously plus 5 and this rhodium is what this rhodium is having how much of valence electrons 9 so this total is in 2 you have to multiply with 2 okay and they are asking metal metal bond jo hai, wo kitna hoga. now students see one metal metal bond kitna electron consists of total two electrons and if you consider the number of metal metal bond as n so this you can write as 36 so overall kitna ho jayenge Aap calculate karo aapko aayenge 32 plus 2n is equal to 36 right therefore n is equal to 2 this is the answer. now let's draw the structure so this is the number of metal metal bonds clear so pehle the number of metal metal bonds jo humne calculate kiya hai wo hum pehle draw karenge kyunki humne mehnat karke calculate kiya hai na and then you are having two ligands in the bridged form right and you are having eta 5 mode by 2 cp each cp is bonded to each metal this is the structure again what we need to do is we have to calculate the number of uh, the electron count for this and now let us see uh, rhodium jo hai iska valence electrons kitna hai iska hai aapka 9 and again uh, students uh, co is a two electron donor to the overall complex but on an average you can say it is donating one electron to each metal same over here so this is 9 10 11 12 13 13 plus 5 15 yes this is obeying 18 electron rule and this is completely justified the structure is completely justified now let us move on to the last question and then we are going to end this video now uh, the organ metallic compound this follows the 18 electron rule and the haplicities of two cyclopentaline groups are this this and this so this is very easy uh, this is tungsten and you have in the CP mode, iska jo hai, do CP mode, do different different haplicities hoga. Wo kya hai, wo hume nahi pata. Lekin agar ye complex stable hai, and it is having only one metal, so definitely is going to obey in electron rule. ठीक है तो फिर स्टूडेंट्स देखो तो इसका जो टंगस्टन है इसके वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन्स हो गया 6 ठीक है CP का जो हैप्टिसिटी है, you having two hapt x plus y ठीक है तो हैप्टिसिटी हमें नहीं पता है वही कैलकुलेट करना है वही का ना कैलकुलेट द हैप्टिसिटीज ऑफ द टू CP तो हम उसे x plus y देख रहे हैं और ये हो गया आपका ओवरऑल 2 तो वंस यू इज टू इलेक्ट्रॉन डोनर तो दिस इज इक्वल टू 80 देयरफॉर x plus y कितना हो जाएगा so x plus y is equal to 18 minus 10 which is equal to 8 so total hapticity aapka 8 hona chahiye so aapko total hapticity 8 kaha pe dikh raha hai students total hapticity 8 yaha pe 5 plus 5 10 not accepted yaha pe 3 plus 3 6 5 plus 1 6 not accepted so 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 so x to hapticity hai yeah x plus y is equal to 8 this is only possible when you have when x plus y if n is 3 plus 5 which is equal to 8 so hapticities are 3 and 5 so the correct answer is 2 the hapticities are 3 and 5 thank you for watching the video please like share and subscribe